Hi and welcome to LogoBarProducts.com's Design Your Own Bottle Opener Tutorial, sponsored by BarProducts.com. In today's tutorial, I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how you can personalize your very own bottle opener using our easy online designer through LogoBarProducts.com. So whether you're a bartender, have a friend that's a bartender, or have a favorite bartender, this is a really fun tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up our internet browser, and in the address field, typing in Logo Bar Products. Dot com. And of course what this will do is bring us to LogoBarProducts.com's homepage and today we're going to be personalizing our own so go ahead and click on this banner. Once you click on the banner it will take you into our easy online designer store um, and as you can see all the different types of products that we offer customization on, all types of bar accessories, glassware, but today we're going to be focusing in on the bottle opener so go ahead and click on this category and what this will do is bring up all of our subcategories and a complete listing of all of the bottle opener styles that we offer personalization on. Um, everything from our hammerhead design to our minis to our knuckle poppers and so on. But today we're going to be concentrating on our V-Rod. This is our hot new item and it's becoming very, very popular. It's basically two tools in one. Not only is it a bottle opener, but it is also a liquor pour spout remover. So go ahead and click on this V-Rod. Okay, so this is where we begin our design. Um, as you can see down here, we've got all different types of backgrounds to start with. We have, you know, all different kinds of colors as well as custom designs. And if you would like to see what the designs look like on your V-Rod, all you need to do is click on the little swatch and it'll bring it up in the design view. So if you can check it out this way and then go back to your catalog simply by clicking on this catalog link and go through them and see if you find one that you like. So, however, for this tutorial, I am going to start with a basic black background because I'd like to show you to what extent that you can use our clip art and text to make a really fun design. So, here we go with our black background in our design view. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some art. So, I'm going to click on this Upload Art button. And this will bring up our art guidelines. Uh, take a second to read through this. It'll give you an idea of what kind of file types that we prefer. Go ahead and click Next and it asks what type of artwork do you want to upload. Um, with the color coat process for the bottle openers, uh, we allow full color. So unlike screen printing where we prefer one or two spot colors, um, this is a full color project. So go ahead and click on this full color button. And this will give you a nice little example of a full color image. Any sort of photograph or anything will, will go really nicely on a V-Rod. So go ahead and click next. Okay, upload your file and navigate on your computer where your file is and I have this really hilarious picture of my friend Flower kissing a donkey. So I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to customize her, her very own V-Ride bottle opener. So this looks good to me in the preview window so I'm going to go ahead and click add to product and it'll bring my picture into my design view. So I'm just going to move my picture over here for now because what I like to do is get all of the elements of my design out on the in the design view and then put it all together. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my add text button and this will bring up all of the different fonts that we offer and as you can see if you scroll over the fonts it'll give you a nice little example of what they look like in that little window to the right. And this is basically one of my favorite fonts. It's fun and it's bold so I'm going to click on that and then in my text field I'm going to type in flower says dot dot dot. However, I'm going to take out this O and I'm going to show you why and give it a couple spaces and I'm going to add my text. And by default when you add text or clip art to your design area it's going to come in as black and of course we can't keep it at black because we'll lose it in our black background. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this color simply by clicking on the color properties icon right here and it'll bring up a nice array of different colors that you can choose from. So I think for this I'm going to go with a, a fun hot pink. Click OK and bring my text up onto my V-Rod. Okay. So the cool thing about text is you're not limited to only your width and height and rotation properties but you also have some arc properties that you can put on as well as letter spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a nice little arc on this. Make it a little bit bigger and line it up. So that looks pretty good to me. Okay, now I'm going to show you why I put these spaces in my text and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Add Art button and this is going to bring up our Clip Art Gallery and as you can see we have all different types of categories that you can choose from. Uh, for this particular design I'm going to go with the flowers because we are 
doing a flower theme and I'm gonna find a nice round flower to put into this design and I like that one so and again as default it, it comes in as black so I'm gonna change that color and I'm gonna go with a fun contrasting blue and I'm gonna line that up in that empty space adjust the width and substitute that O with my flower and there we go looks pretty cool looks good to me okay so you know it's looking kind of plain to me so I want to take some more elements and maybe decorate the edges of my v-rod so I'm going to go back to my add art button and again since we're going with the flower theme I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose some fun flower designs and something to go along with my theme maybe something like that change the color to maybe a different yellow adjust my width and my rotation maybe a little bit there we go looks good to me and I think I'm going to bring in a couple more of these flowers and by default when you bring in the same file it's going to come in not as black but as the color that you had left it and just the rotation okay, with your width and it's okay that your designs go off the edge just keep in mind that is the, the limitations of your V-Rod um, add maybe one more yellow flower and put it on my edge over here line that up and let's go with a different kind of flower this time just to mix it up a little bit uh, something like that would look cool. We're going to change the color to a fun green. Okay, with my width, I'll put that one right there. Um, I'll add that same one again. Maybe put this right here in the center to take up some of that negative space. And let's add one more of that flower and put it over here on the tip. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, maybe add a couple more. Change the color. Oh, let's go with a orange. I want a fun orange color for this one. With my rotation. And let's add that one one more time possibly put it over here Go with our rotation and this is looking pretty good <clears throat> okay well it looks pretty good to me it's fun it's flowery and it's pretty much the idea that I had so let's go ahead and concentrate on the bottom part and we're going to take our picture and adjust the width a little bit so it lines up pretty good so my friend Flower and her friend will fit on our V-Rod nicely and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some more text only this time I'm gonna type in tip me because as a bartender tipping is good and let's change the color to our pink okay bring it down and let's add text one more time but this time type in or kiss my donkey <laughs> add text pull it down onto our v-rod change the color to our pink and play with the size I think she's gonna love this or she might get mad I'm not really sure but I like it all right, voila, there we go. And you can add some more design elements into this, add some more clip art, just like we decorated up around here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back to my add art, and I'm gonna take this flower and put it down here. Play with my width. Um, add it again, and you can put as much clip art into this as you like, as much design time as you like. Put that right there on the tip. And let's add that one one more time and put it down here. Maybe bring another color flower into it, yellow. Keep it nice and consistent with the other side. 
that art. There we go. Voila! My custom V-Rod bottle opener for my friend Flower. <laughs> <laughs>